Chapter 1. Rebirth at the Banquet. You are listening at FameTV.com. Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios Year 202X, at the Zhang family's banquet. The blurry lights were flashing and there were all kinds of people around. They were drinking and chatting. However, there were a few people surrounding a girl at the corner of the banquet, their faces full of malice. They grabbed her hair and threw her against the wall. Do you really think that you are the second mistress of the Nian family? Why don't you take a good look at yourself? How dare a poor girl from the countryside dream of being with Brother Iran? The person who spoke was a young girl who looked to be around 15 or 16 years old. She wore a white dress and had her hair styled like a princess. However, the viciousness on her face betrayed her innocence. Sister Qingqing, don't talk so much nonsense with her. I saw her holding Brother Iran's tie with my own eyes just now, another girl with a ponytail added fuel to the fire. She's so disgusting. Is she having a wet dream with Brother Iran's tie? She's just a fool. Does she really think she's Brother Iran's fiance? The girls chattered about the supposed crimes of the girl in the middle. Let her die. Xiao Qingqing slapped the girl in the middle. It hurt. Her head hurt a lot and her limbs felt as heavy as lead. A woman's vicious voice came from beside her. Nian Yu's head continued to hurt and she felt dizzy. Wasn't she already dead? The burning pain still lingered in her mind, but where was she now? Nian Yu opened her eyes in a daze and finally saw the situation in front of her clearly. There were a few girls dressed in fancy clothes around her. The girl closest to her raised her hand and was about to hit her. Nian Yu narrowed her eyes after recognizing her own form. Her slender wrist suddenly moved and grabbed that person's wrist. With a sudden force, there was a cracking sound as that person's wrist was broken. Then, she pushed her onto the ground. Perhaps it was because this body was too weak, Nian Yu felt dizzy after doing all this. Suppressing the urge to vomit, Nian Yu finally had the time to take a look at everything before her. It was a richly furnished hall lined with a pristine white carpet. Shouts of surprise came from a group of well-dressed girls around her. Since when did the post-apocalyptic world become so opulent? No, this was a different place. The air in the post-apocalyptic world was not that good. She knew all the non-mutant humans. Was she dreaming? Nian Yu bit the tip of her tongue. The pain on her tongue told her that everything was real. Memories that did not belong to her flooded her mind. This was the 21st century, the most prosperous era of mankind. And Nian Yu was reborn in the body of a 17 year old girl. This little girl was also called Nian Yu, but she was the second mistress the Nian family had left in the countryside. She had just been brought back half a year ago. It was a pity that this second mistress was not doted on by her parents since she was young. She was a complete idiot. The Chen Iran that these gangsters were talking about was the prince of Jiang City's number one middle school. He was also the fiancé of the host. Xiao Qingqing and Chen Iran were childhood sweethearts. Naturally, she did not want Chen Iran to have anything to do with her. Today, she finally had the chance to find someone to teach her a lesson. You actually dare to retaliate. Do you believe that I will kill you right now? Xiao Qingqing never expected that Nian Yu, who was usually weak and submissive, would not only dare to retaliate today, she even hit her. Why wouldn't I dare? Nian Yu's voice was cold as she crossed her arms over her chest and glared at her. She was clearly a country bumpkin, but the aura that Nian Yu exuded made the girls shiver. Xiao Qingqing got up from the ground in exasperation. When she saw the coldness in Nian Yu's eyes, she subconsciously took two steps back. She must be thinking too much. Nian Yu was just a fool. At the thought of this, Xiao Qingqing regained her confidence. Nian Yu, don't think that you can do whatever you want just because you have a vixen's face. Just as Xiao Qingqing was about to grab her aggressively, Nian Yu, who had been standing at the same spot without moving, suddenly curled her lips and raised her hand slightly. Xiao Qingqing felt a sudden force pushing her to the ground. Xiao Qingqing stumbled onto the ground. When she came back to her senses, she pointed at Nian Yu and scolded, You fool. 
How dare you hit me? Do you believe that I will kill you? I do. Of course I do. Nanyu curled her lips into a smile. She had forgotten that despite their youth, these girls were exceptionally vicious. Otherwise, they wouldn't have killed the host, hence allowing her to be reborn into this body. How dare you smile? Xiao Qingqing was so angry that her face turned pale. She jumped up to grab Nian Yu's face. This little bitch. She must be mocking her. Xiao Qingqing was about to grab Nian Yu again, she was instead grabbed by her hair and pressed onto the ground by Nian Yu. Nian Yu. What are you doing? She tried to struggle free, but the hand on her head pressed on firmly. Nian. Mm-hmm. The sounds of resistance became softer and softer. The few female gangsters who had been preparing to watch the show were all frightened by what they saw. They were all children and had never seen such a scene. Someone reacted and hurriedly ran over to pull Nian Yu away. However, the girl slowly stood up at this moment. With a roundhouse kick, the group of gangsters who had run over aggressively were now sprawled onto the ground like trash. Their wails immediately rang throughout the banquet. Ah! Nian Yu, it hurts. Nian Yu. Let go. My dad won't let you off. Nian Yu. Stop. Nian Yu. What are you doing? Chen Iran, who had rushed over in a hurry, had a pale face. He wanted to reprimand Nian Yu indiscriminately. Chen Iran was 1.8 meter in height. With his sharp features and bright eyes, he was the most handsome boy in number one middle school. He was always the center of attention. He was wearing a black shirt and black pants, making him look even more handsome. He knew that Xiao Qingqing liked him and that Nian Yu also had a crush on him. Usually, when he was around, Xiao Qingqing would always bring her lackeys to teach Nian Yu a lesson. Since Nian Yu was just an idiot, Chen Iran didn't care. Hence, he pretended not to know when Xiao Qingqing wanted to bully Nian Yu today. To think that such a thing actually happened today. Xiao Qingqing was sprawled on the ground. It was unclear if she was dead or alive. Her lackeys were also lying awkwardly on the ground, with their hair and clothes in a mess. Usually, Nian Yu would be bullied until her face was swollen. When did the situation turn around? Oh my goodness, my son. What happened? Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.